Okay, what is up guys? Today I'll be showing you how to make a PS1 style model in Blender. So for this, we'll be needing three things. A front, side and back view of whatever you need. The pixelation doesn't really matter at all. As well as Photoshop. And in Photoshop, under new, you want the width and height to be 256 each, each way. Now simply modeling the, the, the the generator should be very easy. It's basically a box, and because it's PlayStation 1 style, it's going to be very low poly. Very, very low poly. You see general proportions, guys. So, if you remember from the. Honestly, if that is completely usable right there, let's see how we get it with this. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Pixel use is quite important, however, however, it's not a big deal. Okay, let's not worry about the wheels just yet, I'll hide that actually. Nope. Keep. Now we need to mark sharp, and what the sharp does is just shows where there are straight edges and where there are curved edges. So for example, we do not want sharp along the bevel, bevel, but we do want sharp along these edges here. And I'll show you what it does in a second. Smooth. See that? Now, it looks curved along this edge, despite only being, being flat itself, and looks curved along this section here, just like we want it. See? Now for the actual textures, very very simple. First we have to find out what we want the front to be. And it seems this is the front. If we look look here, we save this, go to Photoshop, PS1, and just UV editing, texture paint, we find where the front is. And we are just gonna mark out well where the uh, the front is. Excuse the handwriting. Now by writing on the boundaries here, we're showing in the image editing program where we need the, um, the image to end and start. And I'm sure there's a better way than this, I just cannot think of it right now. Save this. Drag this into Photoshop. Now we know we have a slight guide of where we want everything to be. So the front is here and it's oriented this way. So to do this, we need this. You just cut it out, hide it, and resize it. What's really important is that you have interpolation set to nearest nearest neighbor okay be a bit forgiving with how big it is okay merge these two items together okay hide this now watch this Edit, content aware fill. 
Now it uses the data from this and puts it together. So what we need to do is plus attach all this and hide things like this. Hide the little bits that don't seem that seem strange. Okay. Apply. Now we have fairly accurate thing here. It's not perfect, you have to clean it up. And to clean it up you need to go into healing, spot healing here. And just drag it over where you want it to look better. Replace the temporary thing you did with the main one. And suddenly, wow, see that guys? You see how easy it is to make something? It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, what you're going to notice is this has blurriness to it. That that isn't right at all. PlayStation One did not have this kind of uh, tech, uh, pixel filters. That was on the N64. And if you want N64, this, this might be the look you want to go for. But if you want to go for a PS One look, you have to go to shading the material. Let's see, get a good example here. First of all, linear. Change that to closest. Look at that. Look how clean that looks right now. Look how clean that looks, guys. This was on an angle, and it's completely straight. See that? Okay. Now I'm going to quickly finish this model, uh, finish this, uh, these sides, and then when I get back to you, I'll show you how to make it look better. Okay, one sec. Here's your finished generator. And all that shitty glory. Save this. Generator. Now I'll just quickly bring this into Unreal and show you how effective this is. And here you go. This is the generator in game. It looks completely at home in a PS1 setting. You would not look at this strangely at all. It fits perfectly. And uh, yeah, really simple to make. Very low skill. Absolutely perfect for a small indie game. Nice to watch you guys.